We're running behind schedule and it hasn't been easy, but we've just arrived in Solopun. To be honest, the first impression is it's the least creepy place we've seen on the entire hike. A wide open valley, fresh air, the sea in the distance, and it looks like someone's been here recently. There's construction, there's new pipes, furniture, and then we saw this. A blood splattered, broken down chair in front of an abandoned village. Mom, Dad, I love you. And be nice to Johnny, he's a good boy. I swear to God, I know how this sounds, but we were just sitting here, setting up camp, eating a sandwich, and we heard this excuse my language, and we heard this insane noise, and I can't even explain it. What was that? What was that? Let's get out of here. Seriously. It sounded like an electronic distorted dog bark or a horrible crow or something. I've never heard anything like it. It was louder and more piercing than anything I ever have heard in nature. Man, it just chilled me to the bone. I can't even begin to describe it. It happened over and over again, too. It's quiet now. I'm not sure what we should do. It's, it's, it's 12.38 in the morning. It's time to tuck in. We set up camp in the shadow of Sholopun next to the bloody broken down chair. The demon screaming has subsided for the moment, and I'm gonna to try to get some sleep. If all goes according to plan, I'll see you in the morning. We've successfully passed the night in Solopun. Everything looks much less menacing in the daylight here. Nothing too strange happened over the night. No supernatural visitations, no odd dreams. We're doing a few experiments now to see if we can pick up on any supernatural presences. Then we'll explore, see how things look in the light of day, then head back home. One of the most enduring myths about Solopun is that the spirits here mess with hikers' instruments, sending their compasses spinning. We brought a compass along, and as you can see, it seems to be behaving normally. All right, let's go inside. We're inside the first building here in Solopun. As you can see around me, it's totally destroyed. Trees and bushes are growing up through the floor. Huge holes are knocked into the walls, and the roof itself is collapsed. I don't know what power could have done this, but it's from something from out of this world, that's for sure. But it's still easy to feel the presence of people living here. All around me are broken dishes, trash, the smell of wood smoke still hangs in the air. The most disturbing are these. As you can see, this kettle has been completely destroyed. Seems like it would take something with superhuman strength to be able to do damage like this a solid piece of metal. I think it's time that we head out. <laughs> 